Hi. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm fine. And you? Good. Good. I'm very well. It's uh, 9 a.m. here in the United States. And um, I'm very happy to be here. Thank you for inviting me to uh, be a, um, a part of your master class. Very exciting. So, how, how long have you been playing? Is this your um, final year or...? Uh, no, uh, this is my second year in Bachelor. Okay, very good. Yeah. Very good, yes. Excellent. And, and who's your teacher? Uh, my teacher is Ilona, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, I think the, the Chicago Symphony was supposed to go to Riga uh, this year, in fact, I think. And it was, of course, cancelled. Um, unfortunately, I hope we get to come another time. Um, very good. Well, uh, you have the Gobert? Yes. Nocturne, Allegro Scherzando, wonderful. Pleased? Okay. Let's hear.
glad to hear this piece um, it's sort of it's one of the most charming pieces from the flute repertoire we have um, Gobert of course you know from the, the scales that we play <laughs> but he also wrote amazing great music I mean this is um, written for, you know, they wrote their music for their students, you know, these composers, and for a good reason, because they wrote the music with all these problems in mind. Problematic, well, normal things, such as uh, you have beautiful sound, beautiful sound, beautiful expression, uh, very, um, I loved what you're doing. Um, to improve, we can start from the beginning. Um, the main goal of the nocturne, I mean, the, the, the sort of what you should focus on is first breathing. You know, when we play in front of people, and especially like this, in this very uncomfortable scenario, uh, the breathing is the, f the first thing that goes, always. Control of breathing. The flute is a, a, an instrument that needs a lot of control from breathing. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> much more, much more than you think, because we have only this tiny little hole to blow into. We have this little instrument. But what we need is to fill particularly the lower part of the torso to breathe low into the torso and breathe really fully into the lower abdomen and 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 because uh, this is something I just I noticed from from the from when first you started playing you have a beautiful sound but we can improve because what you want to do is to breathe really fully and well so you can maintain a long line so you don't have to breathe in odd places for example, you know, um, let's take here. Um, and then, breathe. I would, I would try to connect that. Okay. And then maybe find another place to breathe so you don't disturb the flow. We want to try to make a long, long musical line, always, okay? Can we try from beginning once more? I just want to, to focus on breathing really fully and well, okay? So just maybe give us uh, um, the introduction one more time. Yes, for example, there. Sorry to disturb you. Um, if you can connect that, that would be so nice. You see, we have to find every opportunity we can to make a, as long a phrase as we possibly can. 
uh, now it should not be uncomfortable for you. Um, maybe we can try this. So the long notes. The long, the the first D, the sorry, the E flat. If you can try to make, so instead of doing a swell on each, try to keep the line, the musical line going through. You see, a big line. So instead of um, doing like a little stomach on, on each long note. So, then play through it to the to to fa to the phrase okay and then so you can maybe breathe after the uh, the G flat so so much nicer to be able to do that yeah. this kind of connection you see this is why Gobert wrote this wrote it like this because he wanted to focus on the singing aspect of flute playing the singing aspect became so much you know after the instrument developed in the 19th century it became so much better than before I mean better quote unquote but it became much more of a solo instrument, you know. So they became much more, the teachers and, and musicians became much more interested in connecting this uh, idea that the flute sound should be like a voice or sounding like a voice. So we have to phrase and sound like singers when we play, you know. Uh, it's a, can we try from beginning, uh, from where you come in, uh, right after the piano introduction, expressif. Very good. Very much better. Very much better. Yes. Yeah. So, another thing I wanted to suggest to you, because you know, breathing is connected to to posture, how we stand. Uh huh. So, um, for for me, you could stand a little bit with your shoulders going back a little bit, like if you were doing this. If you just roll your shoulders back. Yes, 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 yeah, and lift. So, th like this is much easier to breathe. If I you find, yeah, yeah, you know, it all comes from, of course, being nervous, which is very normal and natural. But you know, I observed many singers in my lifetime. I was uh, for twelve years at the Metropolitan Opera, um, and I, I work with singers so much, and I it really. It, uh, made me understand a little bit more about what we do. You know, they are singers are masters of illusion. They might be very totally scared, but they look so great, you know, when they come out there. They don't look scared. But I have many conversations with singers. They're like, it's like they have a, a black hole. They are walking into a stage, it's like a black hole, you know, <laughs> completely. But they have to put on this, this show in a way I'm not saying we should be fake but I think we should have an open posture a good posture when we play because when you come out when you have good posture when you stand good posture it looks good so and it also feels better for you yeah wanna try it just a little bit huh so when you think about this role 
rolling the shoulders slightly back and opening for here for the throat and and uh, this so because when we go forward we tend to go like this and we cut off the breathing so we want to s s uh, stand and breathe like singers good once more from from the beginning please uh, from where you come in yeah Yes, very good. Thank you. Yes, yes. Feels better, no? It's it feels better. Strange. It's a strange, right? <laughs> but yeah, it's a good strange. Yes, yeah. I mean, when we practice in our own rooms or whatever we are home, we have to remember, remind ourselves to to play with good posture, because posture is connected. The first thing before breathing is posture. Yeah, because with bad posture, it's very, it's it's in counterproductive to breathe, because you want to go forward and breathe, but it should be more like you're breathing into the lower abdomen. You really feel the lower abdomen and and ri lower rib cages expand like that. So every time you take take the breath, um, you have to remember this. So, because you also want to be not, you want to be uh, less tight here in your face especially with the uh, the high register sometimes i feel like it's a little bit squeezed here so also when you open here for the throat and breathe you also try to focus on on, on relaxing here hmm? this is important because when you go down like this it also you become tight here here and this creates this kind of uh, tightness in the sound and in the higher register in particular. Can we take once more from from? Um, there's no numbers here, but do you know where I am? The Good, good, good. Uh, very good. Um, I would like you to can connect the phrase between poco animato and the, and the one before. Okay. You can you can manage it. It's <clears throat> pianissimo. Breathe. Breathe. You should, should be able to breathe there, huh? Mm -hmm. okay. Like after the poco animato, the second bar after. It's just, it's so nice to, when you can connect these, these ideas, you know, this flow. Subito pianissimo. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Uh, let me take from a ba ra 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 ri ra ri ra 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 ri. I'm phrase to the F sharp. Ba ri ra 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 ri F sharp. Da 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 da. Okay. One more time. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, that didn't work so well. Okay, so we have to figure out. But uh, I can uh, breathe before the second F uh, and E. Where? Uh, yeah, before Out. poco animato. Yeah. Yeah, I think you would be fine just breathing there in the uh, two bars, two bars before the poco animato. Okay. But you have to do breathe. You have to breathe more fully. Okay. You see, yeah. more fully, more purposefully, more deeper. You see, there there was a study. I was reading a study by um, because of this coronavirus. They did a study on orchestra. I think it, I don't know whether here in the U.S. or the, on breathing, uh, which wind instrument breathe, uses most air. So they did a study, the scientists, the two instruments in the orchestra, guess which instrument? Tuba and flute. <laughs> Tuba and flute use. So <clears throat> you have to think like a, breathe like a tubist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not kidding because the more air you have inside when you play, the more control you have. So I'm not talking about playing with air coming out, but I'm talking about retaining the air inside the body. You see, so you have, you know, fuel mm -hmm. to fuel your sound. You see, okay, well, one more time, please. Mm -hmm. That feel okay? Yes. You see? Was yeah. better, no? Yeah. You, you can move also. You can move the music. This music is elastic. You know, it's elastic. Like like a, a piece of, uh, um, you know, uh, dough. You know, like <laughs> you're making dough for a bread. You know, it's, you can stretch. And you can move forward, like here. Really, uh, but you have to bring the sound more open in the, the, the after the poco animato. One, two, three, four bars, three bars, a little bit more. Um, yeah. Mm. So, just try try not to try try to think um, like open, you know. Uh, this helps you, I think. I can f I can sense their difference mm -hmm. in between. If you can just, you know, think like a singer would sing like this, you know. Ah, 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 ah. you know, they always open and sing out. The same with flute playing. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Sorry I'm talking a lot. It's just that these are things that are very important to me and um, they, they always help very much. You know, because I, when I was working with singers, they, you know, one person could fill a 4,000 seat hall. You know, the Metropolitan Opera House is really huge. So the one singer can fill this hall without turning blue or purple in his face. No sweat, you know, just opening. It's because they are using, the singers using the body to help 
with the sound, you know, help produce this big sound, you see? This is uh, the same principle that, we, that applies to us. Good, let's try from one more time this place. Uh, Can you make this a little bit more stretch? You can even breathe. Really, a little bit more. Um, you know, you can more expression, more juice, more okay. spiced here, huh? Okay. This is the moment. You know, this is the kind of high point of that. Um, nocturne part, you know, nocturne, it's a night, a night uh, atmosphere, you know. Um, so, it's interesting. And it's only a forte, but still, we have to bring a little bit more. So, pianissimo up to forte. Mm -hmm. Can you take from from poco animato? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is also for breathing, you see. Um, this molto ritenuto is a French molto ritenuto. It's not a German molto ritenuto, I find. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't go to do too much, you see. It's because... Uh, it, uh, otherwise, it, it really ha hinders you. And I, I would c try to connect it, you know, motor to a tempo. enough breath, uh, you know, capacity. Let's take from... Fine, fine, fine. You just have to practice it. You have yeah, to get used okay. to it. Because, you know, you, you maybe slow down a little bit too much. Uh, yeah. You have to say it. Because, you know, to breathe between the molto rit and the tempo is kind of a shame. <laughs> <laughs> You know, connect a little bit. It's mm -hmm. it's French music, you know, after all. You can move a little bit, you know. Uh, 
it's uh, not so strict, you know. Okay. It's, it's, I love French music. It's, you know, it's like the French language, you know. M language and music is interconnected. It's interesting. You should think about it, you know. Yeah. You play Hindemith or you play uh, Gobert. It's different language, you know. Music sounds different. It's because of language. I'm, I'm a firm believer in it. Um, so French is like I find that when I'm in France, I listen to the language. It's like the flowing of water, <laughs> like this water flowing, huh? It's it's very beautiful. So music is the same way. Anyway, it's uh, something to think about. Uh, okay, before uh, tempo, two bars. Don't slow down too much. One thing I might suggest to you, um, I don't know if this is too much to ask uh, because we are like this far away, um, but I find sometimes you might be f f squeezing the lips a little bit, mm -hmm. too much together. I don't want you to change your ambush or anything like that, um, but maybe try to open here and maybe blow a little bit more down into like you are blowing into the instrument mm -hmm. it seems to be going sometimes a little bit above or, or getting not you're not getting maybe the full range of harmonics which also does not because you know when we are not uh, finding the harmonics and blowing in the correct sweet spot you know like here mm -hmm. We waste air because we're trying to make sound and we're using too much air to make it because we're not focusing the sound enough here. Yeah? This also might be something you could think about. It, you have a beautiful sound, it's very, very expressive. You have a very good musical soul. Um, try maybe to find the um, blowing down a little bit more into the hole. Huh? And, and don't squeeze or pinch here. Relax the corners here, you know, the face. Try once more, uh, just from the, da -da, de -da, from the a tempo. Yes, you see, you see, it's a little, it's better, no? Yeah, it's just a little shift here, because um, cause when we don't do this, it's, I'm exaggerating, but this kind of stiffness of blowing forward, we have to actually open here, open the throat, and breathe like like a singer would. We also have to play down a little bit into the hole.
yeah, something to think about. It's a, it's just a little tiny, tiny little uh, shift, you know, might help you. Okay, let's finish this, and uh, actually, you know, let's just take a little bit of the scherzando. It was very good. Scherzando. This really, you have to kind of think it in one. Uh, here you can take plenty of little breaths because you really want to go in one breath uh, from like, um, again, we have no numbers, but you know, you don't want to breathe much in that run, you see. Anyway, let's take a uh, it slowed down a little bit. You slowed it down a little bit. Okay. Okay. It helps to actually do taram tiram tiram instead of taram tiram 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 taram 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 param 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 param. So the, the a little accent should be on the small note. Tar par pira taram tar par par parira tar par. Okay. You wanna try just a couple of bars? So slow down a little bit. It's just you can move, 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 move. Yeah, it, it's um, a real allegro, um, and you can take little breaths in all these places. You know. Take a little little breath if you want. Sorry, I haven't played this in many years. From where you from two bars. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. So a lot, a lot of I couldn't take the small breaths. I tried, but uh, the uh, air just uh, didn't come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is a very good. That is another thing that we have to develop is um, quick breathing. Um, it helps a lot. You know, who was a master of quick quick breathing was Jean Pierre Rampal. You know. He could take this quick little breaths in every diff every different place, you know. And but the thing is, a trick is to breathe low into the lower abdomen. So if you just open and feel how you can breathe really low, you want to try and really quick. And you see how the the lower belly the lower abdomen kind of quickly expands. Mm -hmm. You see how dogs breathe, <laughs> right? Yeah. You, you, we, uh, we have seen this, their belly, you know, moves a lot like that. It's the same principle, but you take a quick breath in instead and hold it. Huh? But you really have to open here. Yeah, you want to try to take as much air in as quickly as possible. Okay. Yeah. So, I I have used a lot the um, Bach Alemand. Uh, we're gonna teach that in a minute. I have to stop in a minute here. 
uh, but e to play the Bach Alemann, the first, uh, you know, the, the partida. On ha, 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 but you can take a quick breath in sometimes, you see? To get a feeling for this. And it's a silly exercise, but I, I sometimes find it helps. But you can practice this uh, with this um, this um, uh, this particular piece. Let's take tr try once more. You want to try this? Yeah. Two bars before. <laughs> It's just, it's a, you know, a little bit stiff here in your jaws, a yeah. little bit. You have to loosen a little bit the jaws for playing um, the flute, because when you're stiff here, it's, it's very hard to, to breathe also. The, the jaws have to be very relaxed and very flexible, especially for this, <laughs> for breathing purposes. Yeah, something to think about. Hmm? Um, I use this a lot, you know, Mendelssohn's Scherzo. Um, the, the, this place up, and then you have to hold all the way to the end. It's very, very good to develop this kind of breathing. Two. Something to think about. Yeah. Very good. You sound very beautiful. Um, you know, f fingers have to be smooth, re relaxed. Also, that's something also to remember for the for these passages. You know, really, no tension anywhere. No tension. Get rid of tension uh, okay. from from your playing. This is a. Uh, we cannot play with tension. This is a very, very important thing. We just need to support the instrument, support ourselves, you know, support the body. But if there's tension in the fingers, tension here in the hand, in the arms, then it, in, it goes against the musical current, you know. It, 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 it stops the music. So when you practice, practice without tension yeah this is very important because when we practice we just kind of try to practice uh, we don't think about it as a student particularly it's a, I you know this is but I have been many years in orchestra and the more I practice and try to remember this the better and you will progress really quickly <laughs> like that too also mm. very good bravo okay. thank you thank you for the lesson Yes, my pleasure. <laughs> then bravo to you. Thank you. Okay.
Hi. <laughs> Hi. Elsa. Yeah. Hello. How, how are you? Good, thank you. How Good. about you? <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah. It's uh, great to be here. Um, you're playing the partita? Yeah. Only the first moment? Yeah. Yeah, okay, very mm. good. Wonderful.
very good. Very, very good. Bravo. It's a difficult piece. This is <laughs> only the first moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but bravo. Very good. Very good. Very good. Um, so I, I have been playing this piece uh, more now in recent years um, than I ever did when I was a student. Um, I find it very, um, this piece improves the more we study it. Yeah. Every time I find I learn this piece, it's, it's like it's like a new piece for me, you know, mm. because I find something new and interesting and fresh about it. It's because it's such great music, you know, and it's it's a unique piece in the repertoire mm -hmm. for the flute um, to be written by Bach, you know, presumably for the flute as a, a tribute this piece to be for the flute. Mm -hmm. So, the, um, the two main things, there are two things on the flute that we can, that, that, that if, we do, if we don't do these two things correctly, then the, the sound will not be right. Mm -hmm. First is breathing and posture, and then lips, tight lips. Mm -hmm. You see here, when, when the tightness of the lips comes from tightness here in the throat mm -hmm. area. So you want to open for the throat area here when you breathe. And really, yeah, breathe like you would a, a singer would breathe. And then for the lips, you don't have to change your embouchure. Your sound is very beautiful, but you have, it, it's just that they get tight. They get mm -hmm. tight and then they squeeze and then that's the problem, yeah. okay? So you want to, because the, the, the lips are like this, you know, there's like, uh, you know, a puppet, you know, mm -hmm. this the glove puppet, you know. If you squeeze, you can tell it's, it's not much, you know, so you have to, have the right amount of mm -hmm. pressure, obviously, to make a sound, but not too much, because mm -hmm. when you start to bite, then then. Um, so, let's try from beginning once more. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> what we have to be aware of is this is written as a series of dance dance suites, yeah, mm -hmm. a dance movements. So partita is always the Baroque dance mm -hmm. form. Allemand is a, you know, a rather slow dance mm -hmm. in, in four. Um, what we have to focus on is try not to disturb the flow of the music too much with the breath. Mm -hmm. So in other words, to make the breathing you see, if the, all of a sudden we stop to take the breath, and then mm -hmm. the music kind of falls out of alignment. Mm -hmm. So you want to keep a kind of pulse, a steady pulse. Your tempo was very good. I find in, in Bach, <coughs> you know, when he writes in 4-4, four, four, there's always a certain gravitation towards the third beat of the bar, mm -hmm. the center of the bar. Mm -hmm. And I was, I noticed because um, when I was playing uh, here with Chicago Symphony, we did recordings of the Brandenburg Concerti of the, uh, in, uh, in before, um, in, in December. And, uh, you know, it's always the, it gravitate the music gravitates from the first beat to the third beat always. Articulation articulation should not be too hard. Ta 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 ta. Try to make the articulation as as sort of soft as you can or 
like you would hear a baroque flute you know very 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 gentle um want to try from beginning once more mm -hmm. It's very good. Can <coughs> can you try just to, uh, ever so slightly blow down a little bit more into the flute? It's just. <coughs> see what I mean? It's just the airstream. You see, when we blow out, if you blow straight out, then. Then you get that. If you lower slightly, you see, if you put the, your hand in front of your mouth, see how you can move the airstream up and down. Yeah. This is an exaggerated version of really what is happening here. So you want, if we move up and down, There's a, there's a certain spot that is absolutely correct for the flute. Mm -hmm. So maybe for you, I just you have to pull down slightly, a little bit more, okay. huh? <coughs> especially also for the lower notes. Can we try again from the beginning? Um, the breathing, I have gone through many different um, ways of breathing. I have found before bar five, Da di da 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 di da 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 di da di dum, di da da di da 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 di dum. To breathe there kind of gives a little bit more of a. It helps the flow a little bit of the, of the pulse and also of the harmony. Mm -hmm. okay. Because essentially, you know, this is all. Uh, it's, it's, it's 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 harmonic progression. Mm -hmm. You know, so we have to kind of uh, accommodate the ca the cadences into different keys you see yeah. a breathe where is is logical mm -hmm. according to a harmony so okay once more from beginning That's too. That's a little bit too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, <coughs> the so to breathe, uh, this it's a challenge, mm -hmm. but we have to find a way to breathe so it doesn't get in the way of the flow of the music. So maybe you can slow down a little bit. By slowing down a little bit before, and then taking the breath, that it helps the uh, conceal mm -hmm. the breath in a way, yeah. you know. Because if we go di da di da dum, di da da dum, it's not quite. Because we are in a dense flow still, mm -hmm. so there is a pulse, and there's a rhythm. It's an upbeat. It's very important to notice how the piece starts. Mm -hmm. 
da di da 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 di da 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 di da 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 di da 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 di da da da. You see, if you were just to say the pulse <coughs> without the notes, you would maybe feel a little bit more comfortable. Da di da di da 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 di da. See, it kind of, it, although it's in four, we are thinking in almost in two. You see, mm -hmm. there has to be a pulse because it's a dance. Mm -hmm. You see, yeah. we are, it's a it's a baroque dance. Although people did not dance to this, you know, nobody would dance to this. Okay, <laughs> I haven't seen it. Actually, you know what? No, I am wrong. I did once a very interesting thing, um, a performance of a ballet. Uh, it was one dancer and one flute playing this piece, the, the partita, and then the saraband, alamand and the saraband. Mm -hmm. These two movements. I played with the dancer. Uh, it was very interesting. There was like a, a, a choreography by a, um, a famous um, um, ballet dancer now. I can't remember his name. Um, Benjamin Milpier, his name is. Um, very, um, and it was very interesting when I was playing it because with the ballet, it worked really well. Because it's, in Bach, they, they, the ballet wouldn't have been possible. But nowadays, it's possible. So it, it created an entirely different view for me. Mm -hmm. Because there has to be some flow. There is always this flow. And a, a gravitational flow, you see. The music has gravity, and we have to follow the gravity of the music. Huh? You see. Yeah. So that really opened my eyes to that. So I think Bach wrote this dance things for the listener to imagine dance. Or to to have an image of of dance, yeah. yeah. So how are we going to do that? And we have to breathe, and we have to do all these things. So we have to be clever and breathe in a a way that doesn't disturb the flow of the music. Now let's take from actually let's take from from beginning once more. Um, yeah. Very good. It's very good. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're getting sort of more of a feeling for it. Yeah. yeah. The more, th the more you can relax the jaw here, and maybe not press. Mm -hmm. If you can, uh, think more of ho, 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 more of an o vowel mm -hmm. inside when you play. You see, o and u is very good vowels to use for flute playing. Because, you know, when you're stiff, it's, it's here, it, it, it creates tension in the lips and it mm -hmm. creates tension in the breathing. Mm -hmm. So jaw has to be relaxed and, and open. Yeah, it's very good. Okay. The, the uh, what we also not have to think about, this is another thing. It's typical for a, six, a long 16th note passage in, in Baroque music to be a little bit unequal, the notes, mm -hmm. meaning in with da di da da di da da di da 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 di da da di. So they're not quite da di da 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 di da 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 di da da di da da di da 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 di da da di da 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 di da 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 di da da So that's important also to kind of that also keeps the rhythm flowing, I help, I think. Mm -hmm. Helps the 
it helps kind of loosen up a little bit, you know. just this kind of this gentle flow of, of music you see and you can you can make space for breathing but you make the space by borrowing a little bit of time you borrow like you borrow money and you pay it back in the next bar yeah. it's a okay. Arthur Rubenstein's uh, pianist was very famous for this um, um, particular quote if so he was explaining rubato to someone rubato is you, you borrow, like borrowing money, you have to pay it back. So, dee da 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 dee da dee da da dee da 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 dee da da pay back here, you see? No, mm -hmm. have to move it along, you see? Okay, very good. Uh, from beginning once more. your articulation can be a little bit longer the notes can be long, uh, longer a little bit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of helps the um, the rhythmical flow a little bit. Da da di da da di da da di da 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 di da 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 di da 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 di da da da. Because also it it's a it connects the phrasing a little bit. The di da 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 di da 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 di da 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 di da 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 di da da da. This this kind of harmonic progression is um it supports the harmonic progression a little bit better there. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so a little bit longer the notes, a tiny bit longer. Da -di -da -da -di -da -da -da. Can you take from bar nine the C major? So where are we going to breathe here? That's the other question, you know. Mm -hmm. I 
like to slur three notes. <laughs> I like to breathe there. You can breathe. Uh, you know, you can you can basically find some tasteful way to breathe. I I found it more logical to breathe there for some reason. Okay. Okay. But you can also breathe here. And then you can breathe here if you want. I mean, uh, just as long as it doesn't disturb the musical flow or the, or the kind of, you know, um, the harmonic progression that you're in. Yeah. Um, you can find tasteful ways to breathe. Uh -huh. Okay, that's the main thing. Uh, uh, let's take from the the bar twelve. The, um, Yeah, like yeah, mm -hmm. right. Okay. Um, I still think, just, I still want you to just find the sound a little bit. You can. Yeah, if you can connect the sound. So. Yes, yeah, you see, you see, when you, yeah, when you blow further down, so when you connect with the, with the, the embouchure hole more, with your lips, and the, this part, then you have control. Mm -hmm. You see, what you want, what you want on the flute is control. With, with blowing over too much, with the, you, you lose control. So you want to really make sure you 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 um, also you I think you're a tiny bit too sharp. You might want to pull out the head joint. I mean I'm I think in where are you four forty two in in Latvia or yeah but it's four forty so maybe it's too sharp because of that yeah maybe mm -hmm. yeah but also I think it's you could pull out a little bit yeah. mm -hmm. um, good okay let's go on. From E minor. Yeah, this is the other place. This is the other place of where I would breathe. sounds a little bit like it makes more sense. Okay. So, one more time.
that's very good. Very good, very good. Now, the other thing about this movement is we really have to be mindful of the shape. Mm -hmm. where how we have to shape these arpeggios mm -hmm. in like musical terms. So it doesn't all sound da 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 the whole movement. Um, so where do we bring the music down? Like where can we bring the music to a suspension point? Mm -hmm. Like less, so we can build. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, it, it's built into the harmony. It's built into the the, the harmonic uh, structure. So yeah. dynamics are not written in. Dynamics for sure. Mm -hmm. We have to add those. Mm -hmm. We ha we're responsible for uh, creating the the putting the dynamics in according to the musical flow, so that it makes mm -hmm. sense for the listener. Because a you know a listener uh, and someone who doesn't know this piece doesn't know it looks like this. You know, we are the only ones that know how, how it looks like. It looks. Mm -hmm. Very funny, da 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 da. You know, but for someone who is doesn't know it, we have to explain it. We have to play it in a way that makes sense. You see what I mean? So, for example, bar twenty-five, I have to really bring the music down so we can dynamic down so we can build. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So Bach is constantly writing music that is sh shifting harmonically. It, it takes different shapes, it goes into a different key, but then instead of going to the home key, he goes to something else, mm -hmm. he goes to another key. It modulates differently. More to because this was his, you know, he wrote, it's like endless, he wrote for eternity. He just kept, you know, creating these harmonic suspensions and, and finding different ways to suspend the musical um, drama. You know, this yes. was drama mm -hmm. back then, you know. Okay. And he was a master of this because, for example, you take a Brandenburg Concerto's like, first movement. It is enormous. It goes on and on and on and on and on. And it, it, it never, it's never boring. Because he keeps, keeps shifting, takes the listener somewhere else, to a different key, and then suspends it. So we have to play according to this drama of harmony. It's a drama of harmony. Because there's no dynamics. There's no right dynamic. There's no tempo marking. You see? So we have to, with Bach, we have to study so much. We have to, uh, as I say for myself, I understand this piece better and better every time I have been playing it. You know, I used to be scared of playing this piece because I, it was just, it's, it's a lot, you know. And we have only one line. We cannot play harmony, we cannot play double stops, so we are in a way, have to think even harder. Yeah. We are in charge of the harmonic progression. Okay. So this is important, we have to shape. So in bar 25, bring, bring uh, the, 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 the dynamic down. Okay, okay. take from uh, the repeat sign, the E minor section. Da, 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 da,
good. It's very good. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Remember to keep the notes long. If you think just of lengthening the notes a little bit, then it, it's uh, there's more harmony. Yeah, yeah, when we start yeah uh, can you take from da 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 do you have numbers 31 It's just why it breaks up. The sound sometimes cracks. Yeah. It's because there is not enough support from okay. the lower diaphragm. Mm -hmm. The breathing is a little off, and also you're not blowing down enough into the instrument. Okay. Yeah, okay. and it's also just just experiment a little bit with with um, the jaw in particular. If you can open here. And I think it might help also with the lips being tight. Yeah. You see, that's because uh, once the jaw stiffens and then you stiff here, and then you start to kind of overblow. You really want to open here open down here and find the sound like that. It's just a tiny little shift. Um, the slurs, let's talk about slurs a little bit. I mean, in Baroque music in general, I think the slurs are, um, we try not to slur too much, like groups of notes, we try to slur maybe a little bit at a time, so it doesn't sound like da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. the music needs a certain kind of s of um, clarity. For example, bar thirty-one. I don't think this whole movement was meant to be tongued back in Bach's days. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think we have to add the slurs. We have, we have to do so very tastefully. So, for me, <laughs> so like the second beat. So, mm -hmm. but only the first slur three notes and then tongue one. This is a little bit. I, I, I know, I know the idea behind this. It can work. Um, but you have to separate the. So it doesn't sound like all of a sudden out of nowhere. So. slur there too. And then 
so on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, da da dia, da da dia. It can be done. Mm -hmm. There's there's no no word that says I don't personally do it, but you know, there's if it's tasteful, it's okay. You know, mm -hmm. if it's if it's if it's a uh, um, makes sense, if it's not too blurry, it has to be clear. So tongue to slur to is can be done in Baroque music. Da da dia da da dia. Um, the main thing is to use your taste, musical taste, in slurring. Mm -hmm. What makes sense? You see, we have to think about it when we when we play when we see. Um, because in those days, no slurs were ever written, as we know. So c performers, he, the composers knew the performers automatically knew how to slur. Yeah. That's the, and now we are with a different instrument. We don't have this technique. We, we, we're not in that time. So we are left with our, our sweaty head trying to figure out where to slur. <laughs> But there is a there is book the Johann uh, the the Quants book. Do you know this jo Johann Joachim Quants? Mm -hmm. A yeah, very important book. It explains about slurs uh, very well, and you should everyone should read this book. Mm -hmm. So, uh, slurring three, tonguing one, or in some cases tongue one slur three is is good, or you can slur da 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 ha da 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 ha. Sometimes. Um, where is tasteful? Yeah, so, yeah. Um, good. Now let's take from uh, 31 again. That 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 gap was a little bit too much. Yeah. Da 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 da. Try, uh, try to avoid. <coughs> try to keep the music always flowing forward. Mm -hmm. Always going. If you stop to take the breath, it's it's kind of yeah. doesn't work. So da 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 I like to take a breath there before the. This is sort of, you know, and, and you might change your mind in a year from now mm. about how to do this, because I keep changing my mind also. There's many ways, many ways of doing it, but you have to keep the flow forward, or, and the, don't let the breathing get in the way. Uh, mm. Make space for the breath. So da 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 dum, di da da di da 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 di. Okay, uh, bar thirty one again, please.
Yeah, it, it's very good. Very good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see? You have question? Some question? Well, I think, yeah, the main problem for me is just to find, not to find, but to incorporate, like, uh, yeah, for the breathing, not to stop the, the pulse and the rhythm and, yeah. and the flow. Exactly. Well, that's, so this is the whole, that's the whole, um, um, dilemma with this <laughs> yeah. this opening. The le the rest of the piece is fine. Yeah. The I mean the the Quran. The first two movements of this is uh, challenging, mm -hmm. but we have to make space, create space. So I think this alamand should not be played too fast mm -hmm. because that also helps create space. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a correlation between the tempo of the first movement and the second movement. Yeah. The current is half as fast mm -hmm. as the tempo of the first one. Mm -hmm. So... You can really take your time. You know, mm -hmm. don't think you are in a rush. It's um, and keep the notes a little bit longer. The the shorter the notes, the less music. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, that's the less music you get. That's a one conductor told me once. I never forget notes. <laughs> it was the shorter the notes, the less music. So unless you're playing Stravinsky, of course. <laughs> um, so yes. This, the high note, the end of the, no, the end, mm -hmm. not too loud, mm -hmm. the, half, the end, end note. Um, high notes in Bach should always be gentle, okay. uh, with this gentleness, yeah, never bam, too loud. Um, let's just try the end once more. Um, Take from the di da da di di da 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 di da da di da 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 di da bar Sometimes I, I find it helps to to use the oh yeah the earbud huh yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry for the high A sometimes I put down the C sharp for uh -huh. the high A okay do you know if mm -hmm. you put if you play normal high A and just the C sharp yeah, it it lifts the notes slightly yeah. But piano 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 okay. yeah to play piano. Yeah. You yeah. see? Okay. Yeah. So, for the high notes in particular, you need to open and you need the, a lot of air inside yeah. to support the air stream. Mm -hmm. And for high notes, you have to blow slightly up, not mm -hmm. so much down. But the lips should not be too tight. Yeah. yeah. So, but the, what really helps is to open here, to for the throat and for the, for here. And I was also talking about w the posture to roll back your shoulders a little bit, so you can, yeah. This is important. As I said, to play with tension, to play with tension anywhere, whether it's jaw, lips. And it all 
affects the sound. It affects the sound very in, in, a, in a way that we don't want. Mm. So when we practice, we have to practice with a mindfulness of these things. Find if you are tense anywhere. Think, you know, listen to your body. Find where the tension is and, you know, breathe into that, relax that uh, part or try to figure out how to, you know, most of the time it's because we are hunched over like this. So you can take a step back and, and, and roll back your shoulders and, and then, yeah, exactly. So, um, good. Well, it's a pleasure hearing you. Uh, yeah. Did you want to play something else or? No, I think. Uh, the Just the first one. Yeah. Yes, okay. Bravo. Thank you. Thank Very you. good. Good to hear you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye.
Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Uh, tell me your name. I'm Agnesa. Agnes. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Too. Very good. So, Bartok, right? Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. Have you played this piece before? Uh, no, I just started learning it uh, three weeks ago. Okay. Very good. It's a nice piece. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is like um, it's a great arrangement. I played this piece uh, many years ago. Um, it it really works very well. Good. Go ahead. Uh, maybe we will play just uh, the first five pieces and then stop because it's quite long. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. That's fine.
nice. Very, very nice. Very nice. Um, beautiful sound, beautiful expression. Really enjoy it very much. Um, so this is, you know, Bartok's um, his his life was um, spent really incorporating his native music into his own unique musical language. So he spent a lot of research and time on on these Hungarian folk songs. You you do you know any of them? Have you heard any? No, it, 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 it's like they have a special kind of rhythm to the melody. Da da di da, di da da di da, da da di da, di da da da, di da di da, di da di da. This is very a particular rhythmical feature of a Hungarian. You know, or co you know, concerto for orchestra. The, the Bartok uh, for um, I've heard it, but yeah. I don't really know it. <laughs> it uh, starts with a flute solo. So it reminds me of It has to be like that. You know, it's it's a it's a traditional way. Of of singing these folk songs, the, so that the accent is, is kind of on the first beat, and you don't delay going to the next note. Di da, di da, di da. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yep. Yeah. So um, anyway, let's, let's try from the beginning. From the beginning, uh, the the upbeats, the grace notes, because it's folk music, they have to be a little quicker. Like a folk musician, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, once more. Yeah. Yeah. So, dum dum, dum di da da di da. Always a little weight on the first on the. The next bar, da da. Yeah, very good. Like a little quicker, a little quicker grace note, huh? Underlines the folk element. Barari is is too pretty. It's too correct. You know. <laughs> Good. Once more. Very good. Yeah. So there's a. Do you have a, 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 a fermata over the subito forte, right? But yeah. da da. Little longer. A little bit longer. So that it has space. 
Bram, and so so you have to cue the pianist for the next mm. note. So di da, Bram, yeah. Mm. Don't forget. Yeah. This is uh, because otherwise it's not going to be together. <laughs> it's a very good arrangement, but it you need sort of the coordination of those two. So di da da da. Make all the tenuto lines a little bit longer. It's like a sort of a, 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 a violin, you know, Hungarian violin. A more bow, huh? Okay. okay, one more time. So the fermata, so in a way, for this kind of music, we have to get into a more of a free way of thinking. So it should sound sort of almost improvised, you know, because it's folk music. I mean, it's a tune, but so for the fermata, just has to have that sort of a, a freedom of expression of, of, of folk music. Folk music is the sort of the, the soul of the, each country. It has something that is so like close to the heart, and so free, and and expressive, and it should really be played like this. You see, um, this is why folk music is so important um, because it's it, it brings out this um, the connection to people's hearts mm. and their feeling. Of of the of this um, the you know soul of the music. Mm -hmm. Good. One more time from beginning. So it has to have this more heartfelt connection. Three, no, no, absolutely not academic. This is not academic music. This is not academia. This is very different. Where is the very, we're in a very different. Uh, kind of atmosphere, you know. This is uh, an arrangement, of course, but uh, this is why Bartok was so uh, fascinated, particularly with his own Hungarian music, because it was something very special about it. This very rich culture, a very rich culture of of of, uh, of music in in, the, in the, his uh, native land. Um, okay, one more time, please. Hmm? Yeah, even take a little bit more time. So this is, so this is kind of the, the opening of the piece. Try to take, you can take time. 
because it's the first, first thing people hear. So don't rush. You don't have to rush. So the fermata is very important on that on that D, you know. And then on. You see, this has to be a difference between the fermata bar and then the next. You see, and then. Very mysterious end. Take time, you know, because this is like an opening. This is like a first act, you know, the opening act, uh, overture. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I think still you can be a little bit more uh, with the grace notes, a little bit more like folk music. Even if you just cue it, the, the pianist will follow you. Okay, well, one more time from the beginning. Not. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, it has to sound like that. Just from there. Mari, Mari. Still, the no vibrato is the end. Yeah, yeah, that must because grace note. Why, you know, grace notes are written. They are to emphasize the note after the grace note, <laughs> not the grace. I mean, in rare cases, it's a grace. Bryam, bryam, bryam. It gives a sort of weight to the. So it has to be always quick. No matter what. Very good. Let's go on. Here, Andante, very good. Poco sostenuto. Not. Again, didam. It always da da. Didam. Very Hungarian. Dida da 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 Move it a little bit. Yeah. Let's take that movement, huh? Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit too slow, so a little bit too slow, huh? So not, it shouldn't be that big of it. I, these tempo, the metronome marks are, you know. You see, the flow is like that. Just from where you come in. Yeah, okay, good. 
No, no. Okay. So the second element, second element of folk tunes. What could it be? What do folk tunes tell? Normally, a story. Right. There's something, st a story behind it. There's a, there's a song. It's a lyric. You see. So, forte, and then mezzo piano. We have to make the story takes a different turn. This is called Sweet Paisan Chants Populaires Triste. Means popular sad songs. Triste is a little sad. So, you know. Never di dam, always da dam, ti da, ti da, and then di di da 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 da, ti da, ti da. A little sad, sort of like that, you know. You have to be very, very descriptive. Your, your performance have to be very much in the spirit of folk songs. Yeah. I'm sure you have beautiful folk songs in Latvia, no? Huh? Yeah? yeah? Yeah, absolutely, I'm sure. And it's, you think about it, you know, the stories, the something behind it. There's a the music, it's the same thing. We're telling the story. Okay, from where are you, from Poco Sestino Yes. Yeah. Absolute story. It's a perfect story. It's like bookend themes, you know. So, very okay. One more time. Yeah. So, yeah. Good. Another. Try, try to avoid the vibrato on the da 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 di da da da. Yeah. It's, 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 uh, it goes against the grain of the music. Once more. To breathe there, yeah, it, you don't have to breathe there. You don't have to. It's it's it's, if it's forte, but it shouldn't sound. Da, da, da. Very just full and rich, not not loud. You know, it's a. Um, Flowing forward, flowing forward, once more. Maybe it's the room. Maybe it's the microphone. I don't know. Uh, if if I, but you see. And then crescendo. 
So don't do crescendo before. If, uh, earlier, yeah? Okay. Well, just from there, mezzo piano. Yeah, the turn. Yeah, good. This is very good. It, it's sorry. It's this is very particular. You know the way it has to be, because you you have to follow da da di da di da. The piano is going that. It's not gonna. Don't try to change the rhythm too much. Try to be in the sort of the flow of the rhythm, because the rhythm and folk music is very interconnected. Not da 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 da. Just from the mezzo piano, almost. Yeah, Dolce, Dolce, mysterious, mysterious. Mezzo, the piano only has a mezzo forte. Very sort of a, a mysterious, like this typical Bartok. He throws in little sort of uh, um, atonal, atonality in the, into the this uh, the folk song. Uh, this, uh, this is his own touch, you know. From their focal systems of Dolce. Crescendo. Good. I think you, may, you dropped your earphone, right? <laughs> okay. It happens. <laughs> okay. So um, uh, just know that da 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 is on the beat. Dum dum da 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 dum dum bum ba da da di. Yeah. Good. Um, okay. This is all very good. Let's go to the next. Um, Number three, poco rubato. Yeah, very good, very good. Again, the grace notes a little quicker. The, even the beginning. Sounds a little bit more like the like folk music. Yeah. And very legato. You can even slur this. Yeah, I think you should. Very vocal, very, very expressive vocal um, kind of uh, tune. From there.
Yes, yes, beautiful, yeah. Just so that you have enough space when you see these breath marks, these little commas, take time, take time. Because as a rubato, you know, you can be free with it, you know. Um, and before the sustenuto, the F sharp, um, if you want to do crescendo there, that's fine because the piano has a crescendo also. This is like the beginning of the um, concerto for orchestra again. The the uh, what is it? The funny movement, intermezzo. Very sort of a uh, yeah typical Hungarian. So think about uh, you know. Very expressive. <coughs> Once more, the da da di da di da dum, da 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 Great, go on. Mm. Yeah, I find here the here the music changes slightly. Um, so we're going into more dense like. This is going towards the dance-like part of the suite. Huh? With now the first three movements are more like sort of just free folk songs, and you know, and now ya da di da 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 di da not too slow. Here we have to kind of wake up to more dance. Di da 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 di da di da. A little bit lighter, a little bit more uh, kind of uh, articulated. Huh? Okay. From, from there. Pulse. I'm imagining, I'm imagining more. Then you're more, it's, we don't, because the piano has this, so, mm, dum, blam, 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 it's, it's an indication of some sort of dance movement going to happen. Okay, one more time.
Yes, bravo, bravo. Very good. Yes, exactly. So in this kind of music, we have to <coughs> understand the background a little bit, understand where the music is going. So now, it's going to be much easier to, yeah, exactly. Very good, bravo. I think um, we can go on from here. We have one more piece, I think, uh, one more student, huh? Yeah. I think, bravo. Beautiful. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Nice to meet you. Nice Bravo. To meet you.
Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, so you're playing the Mozart Rondo? Yeah. The major. Which edition do you have? Is this a Rampal or? A it doesn't matter. I have Rampal here uh, edition, so it shouldn't be too different. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. That's okay. Yeah, let's hear.
Bravo. Very good. Bravissimo. Very nice. Very, very nice. Lovely. Uh, my edition here is slightly different from yours. My, my, the music here, but <coughs> then it doesn't matter because the, the, this piece, you know, was originally for violin, you know, yeah. <coughs> in C major. Uh, works very well on the flute. However, we have to, mm, uh, your performance is very beautiful, very styli stylistic, and, and, and uh, phrasing is beautiful. I very much enjoy your sound, very, very much so. Um, uh, do you have a trill at the end, just before? No? You don't have no. a trill there? No. In my edition, there is a trill. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I think there should be one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think there should be because uh, that it's in the violin part. I think I believe. Mm -hmm. So, um, um, okay, let's take from the beginning. Um, <laughs> here, you know, Mozart. You know, he was always writing different kind of music at the same time. Mm -hmm. You know. He was writing opera, he was writing symphony, he was writing chamber music, he was writing something else, everything at the same time. So his music was, was, everything was very influenced by what he was into writing at that time. So um, I think most of, you know, all of his music has this vocal quality to it, because he, his operas are such a, an important uh, gateway into to his music, to understand his music. I think if we try to play the music sort of in a more operatic way, meaning the, I, I just, I was missing sometimes s some slurs. Da 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 di, so da di da da di. It's first one. Da di um da di um. This has to be slurred. Da dum da. It's absolutely not in Mozart's style. So, and here all the slurred. Right. Da, 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 right? Yeah. Can we try just from beginning? Yeah. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah. And also. I have Do you have that? Yeah, it's important. And then So, so you kind of follow the line of the crescendo of the piano line. Yeah. So there is a the, so you you lead the you lead the way into the the refrain of the of the melody. Huh? Once more, please. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. You have to slur. Slur, slur. That has to be slurred. Yeah. So really phrase it towards the trill. Hmm? It's, it's important. 
it's, it's just like an, uh, sort of like an aria in an opera in a way. You know, uh, try to also avoid too short of notes like sing it it sounds very good it's just when you can connect yeah. the notes a little bit once more Yes, very good. Go on. And t take from next time. Dum di rum bum di. It's, a, it's very good. So, so somehow, because this theme keeps repeating, you know, it's a rondo. So it's like a round. It always comes back to that, the same theme. So we have to, in a way, give a little bit, some special attention to it. So, so here that he introduces the the, the B theme. Just a little bit more this is when you come back to the to the main theme. Can we take from the same place? Uh, Crescendo, the crescendo is really <clears throat> um, a good crescendo there. Um, okay, let's go on from this dolce. Yeah, yeah, here, same, same here. Da, diom, diom, slur it, slur, bira lam, bim, bom. Yeah, uh, okay. Um. And tira, tara, I don't, not so keen on. The slurs are pretty, it have to be uniform, so if you do dum di dum then your next one has to be da di dum Slur, all four notes there, okay? Uh, same, dolce. Good, 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 good. So, try not to hit the note da, da, with an accent. It's any kind of sudden moves, too short or sudden accent, is not really in the nature of this kind of music. This music is very vocal, and uh, you know the violin plays it very uh, with a lot of expression and a lot of sort of singing in the tone, which is 
really important um, in this music. Like that. Once more, the dolce dom di ra ra ra. not to rush also this is another this problem and it's allegretto grazioso so grazioso graceful you know that's the key word key word is graceful you know these guys didn't give us a lot of information the Bach Mozart Beethoven this maybe Beethoven a little bit more but the information we have is allegretto grazioso with with gracefulness so it's like very no sharp turns, no, no sharp turns anywhere, or certain accents. Not too fast, in other words. Allegretto is so. It's it's tricky, you know. sort of um, the, the grazioso in the tempo so if you rush then you lose the, the uh, this element this graceful element so from dolce Yeah, no rush. It slurs, slurs. The slur is so important in Mozart. Slurring is so important. It, it doesn't work. Have to slur it. So Have to slur. I think it has to be slurred. Yeah, just for the sake of the line and the and the vocality of it. 
the da 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 da. It's yeah. it, it, does, it sounds better when you when you slur it. In classical music, this is very important. Um, so let's take again from T Tom Team, and here really a real forte with a sort of heavy accent on the, on the on, on on each quarter note. You see, Mozart also the there's an element of different characters, like in opera, you know, in this music, and in in throughout this whole music, there's the soprano. And tom This could be the you know baritone, you know character. So all these different um, you know musical uh, themes have have the different different operatic characters within them. I feel like. Good. Can we try from there? Now here, again, soprano. From there. From there, yeah. So here, S uh, slur that one. I uh, don't breathe there. Take a, bre a breath after the after the high E. You can yeah. So, so from there, same place. Dum da dum dum di. Still slur that. Mm -hmm. it, it still sounds better. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, okay. <laughs> I, I think there has to be uniform the the slurring. In Baroque music, you can do funny things, like sometimes slur, and not slur the next time. Mm -hmm. In Mozart, it's much more strict. Okay. His his music is very disciplined. In fact. He was he was a disciplinarian, in in the way he wrote and the way he wanted the music. He was very specific. So, um, so I don't think we should. These slurs are very important because they bring out a certain singing vocal quality in the music. So, can we please try again? So here, take from. So yeah, to grow in, in from there. You see, I, I remember so many places in Mozart opera because I played a ton of Mozart opera. I, and his, whenever I play Mozart, I hear opera because <laughs> it's all there. And the way the, the writing is so idi idiosyncratic to his style. So try to always get into that never never play like a flute a flute play, player play like play in the style of the music 
I'm from right there. Yeah, here, for example, yeah, sorry. I think Mozart may have actually written these slurs. Yeah. Mm. So t just from there. Dee -da 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 -dee -da -da. From there, uh, or same place, if you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from that E. Uh, yes, just from that theme, yeah. Sorry. Yes, very good. Very, very, very good. So here, when these slurred notes sustain them a little bit, so... And then Dolce, piano. So da middle down bum bum middle down bum bum middle down bum 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 from there. Uh, yeah, from. Try not to bump the uh, the second beat. Very good. It's very beautiful. You have such a beautiful sound, a beautiful expression. It's really a pleasure hearing you. A real pleasure. Um, Sotto voce. This is this is um, has to be. A different character again. This is a has to be maybe even even softer if you if you if you want you know. Maybe even softer. Softer grain. Mm -hmm. Can we take from there? Yeah, here. 
don't forget to slur. <laughs> don't forget to slur, I know. That's probably okay to tongue. So, <clears throat> same place, Sotovoji? you're bringing attention to something that you don't it does not it's necessary it doesn't need to be brought attention to the main attention is the melody yeah that's the that's the main thing so use the slurs uh, even softer if you can the sort of watch it plays very simple light from there like them this typical th th uh, kind of theme from happens all over Mozart's music it's the sigh you know it has it's in the Mozart you know the same thing This is on the first. Um, yeah. Um, very good. Very good. Excellent. I mean, you know, you play it beautifully, and I thought, you know, it's just these vocal elements and these slurs that just need to be there because. You want the music to sing. Yeah. You see, it's very important that that, that uh, you know it, it's slurred correctly. Um, and I think you know Mozart did put in some slurs here and there. Um, but it's worth it's worth researching. Actually, the Urtext violin part would be your best uh, resource here. Mm -hmm. uh, the C major version. If you can find the Urtext Berenreiter, and just 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 take a look at it and and, and study it a bit. Very good. It's a pleasure hearing you play. You sound beautiful, um, and uh, bravo. So, um, but is there any anyone else that wants to play, or is it? No, I'm the last one. Oh, okay. I see. Okay, very good. Bravissimo. And uh, thank you to the to the everyone who attended, and thank you for inviting me. It's been a pleasure to be here and I hope we get to see each other in person someday hopefully um, I hope to come to, to Riga sometime to play okay is there anyone else I have to 
talk to before we say goodbye? 